One, two, three. One, two, three. Look what's ahead. Milana, are you ready? I don't know. One, two, three. <gasps> what's that? Don't you see what this is? It's a real double-decker limo. Two-story? Two-story. Let's go inside. What am I going to do with her? This car is at your disposal today. You can use it however you want to drive it, wherever you want to go. It's basically your going away present today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ah! I feel like crying. How? I'll put it here. Why is it falling? A few moments later. You're annoying. Let me try over here. And here. <laughs> okay, guys, I've decided that I'm going to slowly fight my fear for now, and let's see what my mom put in my backpack. I'm very curious. No, I want you to do what I put in my backpack. So long story short, my mom just told me to pack things that you might like, but I thought I'm going to a girlfriend's house sometime just there on Sunday. I have a backpack that I got from my mom. It's actually my mom's backpack, but it's my backpack now. All right, let's prioritize. I need to grab a comb, my cosmetic bag, which contains all my makeup. Also, I should take a bottle of water, a hat to block out distractions, and a power bank in case of emergencies. Don't forget the lip gloss, nail file, and charger. Well, I think I'm good with that. Well, now, uh, what did my mom get me? Now, let's take a look at what my mother packed for me. I am hoping for some food as I'm already feeling hungry and in need of nourishment. <laughs> so the first thing I see is uh, Django. How am I going to play with her? In the car? Okay, next up is Zentigo Mandeli, a fascinating journey through my own self. Ah, it's coloring. It's beautiful. There are various drawings in this place for relaxation. I assume it's meant to calm me down. My mom is scared that I'll panic. However, she knows that I'll panic, so she spread jam on it. After that, I have markers for this purpose. Following that, I have a sketchbook. A book. Math. Let's throw it out the window. <laughs> mom seriously believes I'm actually going to do that in this place. That's a good one. Next, a pillow. That's good. That's mom good. Next, my favorite bunny. I love him. He's very soft. He's... He's so... We look alike, by the way. In what way, you ask? I guess. Because, uh, that's what I said. That's a strong statement. Backpack. And a plaid. A pita plaid. By the way, the history of this plaid. I bought this plaid back in my 20s, I think. It was just getting popular back then. I found this plaid on AliExpress. I was like, Mom, buy me one, please. My mom was like, no, they probably won't buy you one of those. I ended up saving up for this plaid, bought it, ordered it. It came from China, America, I don't know. And now my mom uses this plaid all the time. The guests are here, hold this plaid. You need a plaid, here's this plaid. There's no other plaid, here's this plaid. For the shoot, here's this plaid. In the limo, here's this plaid. Guys, I've decided that I'm afraid I'm gonna get bitten by a bogeyman. 
So I'm wrapping myself in shawarma. I'm getting my favorite. Oh, that's so good. And I'm gonna get a coloring book, felt tip pens, and I'm gonna draw. What would you do in a limo? Here I am, instead of hanging out, eating something, hanging out. I'm drawing. talking about guys I'm really curious about my friend's reaction when she sees me coming to her house in a limo with these cups I believe she will be utterly surprised as she is completely unaware that I will be arriving in a luxurious limousine I simply suggested meeting tonight with the intention of going out I anticipate her reaction to be in a state of shock all right Ty I got a surprise for you Come on, not in the snow, please. One, two, three, look what's ahead. <laughs> Did you get me mascara? <laughs> come on, come on, I'll show you. Come on, let's go. All right, Ty, I'm gonna drive you around today. I'm your cab today. Where are we going for the first time? I say we go out to eat. Okay, we need somewhere to eat. Yeah, come on, come on, where are we going? Um, I have several choices to consider. Come on. Come on then. Somewhere, probably a cafe, a restaurant to eat, a restaurant for a tasty bite. <laughs> Come on in, Taisia. Oh my god. Oh my god. So where are we going? Okay, somewhere to eat. To get a good start to your day, you have to eat. You know what I mean? I'm hungry, let's go. Anyway guys, I've decided to do this challenge while we're driving, we're gonna play with her. We're gonna pop balloons, I mean, really. Balls. We're just gonna eat them. We've been given a needle, now we're going to pop balloons. I didn't comprehend the purpose of requiring a needle and subsequently uh, when we obtained mm -hmm. balloons. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> If you were an odor, which one would you be? I'm gonna have you committed with coffee. Because everywhere I go, it's always... Hello, I would like a coffee, preferably with some milk and syrup added to it. This way, I tend to associate the scent with the delicious aroma of coffee. I'll have a coffee. Okay, go ahead, open yours. If you could ask any question that you were sure to get an answer to, what would that question be? I guess, will I be a world star? A singer, uh-huh. You know, right? <laughs> I know that. the answer is definitely yes. Because I'm working for it. I work for it. How about you? 
my question would be, what year am I gonna build the Pudleys? <laughs> uh, yeah, the Pudleys, that's what you'd say, what year, just a minute. I apologize to anyone with headphones on. If you were asked to travel back in time on any day, which day would you want to go back to? <laughs> I know. I wish I could go back to 2021 summer when we were filming summer. <gasps> For real, man. Yeah. Guys, careful again. Turn the sound down. If you had to change your name, what name would you choose here? Elena? <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't want to change my name at all because I like my name. And I already, uh... You'd really fit right in with Shusha. No, definitely not Zania or any other name that I find unattractive. Varya, would it suit you? Well, it's just that Varya's been out of the world for so long. You see how capricious she is in that regard. <laughs> A name that would probably suit me. No, Aliona. Because, well, Aliona is like that. <sighs> we were filming and you were told you were Aliona. Remember in the summer you were Aliona? Yes, and I am. No! <laughs> And she's like, I hate that name. Right now I'm going to be trying to make a trend from TikTok. Meaning I'll basically be piercing the balloon so it doesn't burst. I pierced it. There, I mean, hold on. I'd like to carefully place it right over here. I'll try. Russians are sitting. <laughs> Gypsophilus. <laughs> well, okay, I'd probably be either a tulip or a peony. <laughs> Look, my foot's about to burst. One, two, three. If you could choose one magical superpower, what would it be? <gasps> I long to soar. To soar to Mars, the red planet. I'd probably like a truth reader, a mind reader. Like when a person says something to me, I, you know, look and I'm like, he's not telling the truth. If you had to choose only one hobby, which one would you choose? Singing? I'd probably be, well, it's not even like a hobby. I guess that's exactly what my life's work would probably be, an artist, because an artist is everything. Shall we play hide and seek? <laughs> if you were to catch a goldfish, what three wishes would you ask for? Please give me your answer. Number one. Endless desires. Genius. 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 Second wish, it's hard. It's hard. I'd like coffee for life. Like, you got it. And there was already coffee standing there. She wakes up, coffee, she goes somewhere, coffee, she goes, she goes to coffee. Well, like, well, it's kind of obvious why she probably connects to coffee. And three, I would order more coffee. A lot, a lot of money to take all my friends and fly to the Maldives with them. <gasps> Here. You know, you've got that little bit of goodness in you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, you're a very kind girl. Of course, of course. <laughs> If you could have a twin sister, what kind of sister would she be? She'd be a twin. She'd be a repeat offender, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. She'd probably, well, naturally be like me because she's a twin. It makes sense in principle. What did you have in here anyway? <laughs> Well, I'd share a room with her because I'd want us to be just like girlfriends, hanging out all the time, I guess. I'd also beat her up for being born on the same birthday, which is kind of my birthday. And she's also kind of here. It's redundant, yeah, it's isn't it? my birthday. I'm telling you, she's just got a smidgen of kindness and the rest takes a little something else. No, I would like us to wear identical clothes and create interesting videos. Additionally, I would desire a twin sister who is straight and would serve as a companion for me to spend time with and communicate. She would support me by providing guidance on what actions to take. Essentially, she and I would be extremely close friends. 
Yeah, and if I had a twin sister, I probably wouldn't be like Milana. I wouldn't be like Milana. I wouldn't be like this birthday sharing. I would be the opposite. I would give most of everything to my sister because I'm the kind of person that I try to give better to my family, brothers, sister, all that, you know? Shut up! <laughs> Singing together, we'd have a duet. I would not sing solo. If I had a twin sister, we would be a duet and we'd perform together, we'd go on tour, we'd be this, you know, popular duo of world singers, all that kind of stuff, Grammys, Oscars, everything, and we'd be like strawberries and chocolate, not life. <laughs> I would love to do some duets and sing songs with her. It would be awesome if she can play the guitar or something similar while I sing. On the other hand, it would be really cool if I could play an instrument and she sings. I could also benefit from having her help me with my exam. <laughs> Let's get the ball rolling. If you were a dish, what would it be? Coffee. <laughs> I think she would be pasta bolognese. Either that or she would be pasta carbonara. Oh, you'd be uh. ramen. If you had to choose one city to live in for the rest of your life, which city would you choose? Miami. <laughs> Miami, okay, that's a joke. Los Angeles, but it's not a city. Oh, is it? I think it is. <laughs> You're stupid, you don't know anything. <laughs> Moscow is definitely my first choice considering I was born there. Even though I have a soft spot for Kazan, it's much smaller compared to Moscow. When it comes to pursuing my music career and achieving great things, Moscow is unparalleled in terms of opportunities and accomplishments. Yes, I would choose Moscow, but I really love Peter, so yes. I love Peter very much, but I am uncomfortable with the climate there because the Neva River is nearby. It's very cold there in the fall, you know, in the winter. And when it's cold, you know, well, it's unpleasant. There's also a lot of rain, downpours and so on. So Moscow and Peter too, but Moscow. Turn the camera around. You have to be careful where you sit. So guys, we're here. Let's go get some coffee. Now the translation from Milanov. We've arrived, everyone, at our destination. Let's go get coffee, right? I'm having a good day today. I'll definitely have a latte. I'll have a latte too on raspberry. Raspberry milk? No, raspberry syrup. We're making a cool video for you today. It's gonna be on my YouTube channel soon. So, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. You guys got a little exclusive set to you, right, right? You guys should subscribe to my Silligram channel. That's where I put exclusive videos and photos all the time. So I'm looking forward to your subscription. such a great time and truly enjoyed it. Surprise. Surprise. That's awesome for me in general. Thank you. But I have to get to class now, unfortunately. All right, well, let's get you to class. I've got a lot of sitting around to do.
Thanks. My ride in the limousine is coming to a close. We're nearly at the house. I want to ask you all for a small favor. Please give me some likes and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a comment below. Who knows? We might even create a similar video at some point, perhaps about Tayo at last, if time permits. I wish everyone good luck and bid you farewell. Goodbye, bye, bye. Thank you.